Welcome into First Take, exclusively on YouTube. I'm Christine Williamson, filling in for Molly, and I'm here, of course, with Stephen A. So let's get into it, shall we? The NBA has suspended Draymond Green for five games without pay for escalating an on-court altercation in Tuesday's game with the Timberwolves, the league announced on Wednesday. In a statement, the league said that the length of suspension is based in part on Green's history of unsportsmanlike acts. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr weighed in on the decision. Take a listen. He definitely took it too far. Draymond was wrong. He knows that. Um, it's a bad look. The, the five games is deserved, and, um, you know, we move forward. Draymond has to find a way to not cross the line. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, getting an ejection and getting a technical. I'm talking about, um, you know, a physical act of, of violence. I mean, that's... Um, inexcusable and and um, we have to do everything we can um, to, to give him the help and the assistance that he needs to be able to uh, to draw that distinction between being you know an incredible competitor um, but he can't cross that line and um, he, he crossed it the other night for sure all right Stephen A what do you make of what Steve Kerr had to say I think it's a very, very bad day for Draymond Green. Um, I know the brother. I love him. He's good people. When your coach speaks that way about you, mm -hmm. that is classy as Steve Kerr is. He's a credentialed individual. He's been a champion everywhere he's gone. Associated with the NBA, Chicago, San Antonio, would have won a championship in Phoenix as far as I'm concerned when he was running basketball operations if Mike D'Antoni had listened to him and brought Tom Thibodeau there as a defensive coordinator. And obviously we know that he's an exceptional coach and has proven to be, as far as I'm concerned, one of the top five coaches in the history of the game. If Steve Kerr talks about you that way, it is something that has been discussed with the hierarchy of the organization and it has been deemed and determined that you are a problem. Now, we know that Draymond Green is a four-time champion. He's a rough rider. He ain't scared of anybody. He's an undersized big man that takes on the greatest challenges. He is pivotal to the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors don't beat the Boston Celtics if Draymond Green doesn't step up over the last two or three games of that series and closes the deal. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Draymond Green is a winner. But now something different is happening right now. Something different. Um, he is being labeled. Um, he can't refute the label that's gotten attached to him. And because of that, he's considered out of control. And I'm going to go here if nobody else will. As a black man, that never works for you. You can be emotional. You can be demonstrative. You could be even angry. Mm -hmm. What you can't be deemed as is being someone who is out of control. We can't contain him. And that's not to say he is to be controlled. Mm -hmm. It's to say he has struggles with controlling himself. I'm not saying this. I'm saying that's what they're saying. And if you're Draymond, you got to hear that. You can't ignore not hearing that. You just can't do that. Yeah. And I know how fierce he is. I know how competitive he is. I know that he's somebody that is about doing things his way. He's a true maverick in that regard. You're not going to contain Draymond but so much, and you're not going to take that edge off of him. Here's what I would say to him as a person that's got a lot of love for him. What I would say to Draymond Green is, Think about the moment where you lost control with Jordan Poole last year. Not only think about what that did to the team, think about what it did to you. Mm -hmm. Think about how you needed to step away. Think about how bad you felt when Steph Curry, you know, looked incredulous and helpless because that happened and he felt culpable to some degree. Think about how it affected the team and how the team was never the same. Think about a talent like Jordan Poole, who's 23, 24 years of age, 
capable of averaging over 20 a night, and he's no longer a member of your team. Right. Because it was best that he departed, primarily because of what happened between you two. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, even when you're not the perpetrator, when you're not the instigator, ultimately it is you, if you are the grown-up, with the credentials, right. with the championship pedigree, and with the cachet to make a difference. And instead of doing so in a positive way, you do it in the most negative way imaginable. Right. That is what has now happened to Draymond Green. I personally thought the suspension should have been three games, not five. I have no problem with the five. I certainly wasn't an advocate of Jay Williams' uh, assertion that it should have been ten games. I thought that would have been too extreme. But it doesn't negate the fact that people within your own family are now publicly acknowledging right. you are a problem. Draymond, you got to fix that, bro. Yeah. You, you, you got to fix that. And you can and you will. I believe in that, mm -hmm. brother. But he, that doesn't mean he's not wrong, and it doesn't mean that he can't be called on the carpet for his actions. But I believe that he's a good brother, highly intelligent, smart, and he's a damn champion, and I'd want him on my team any day of the week. But he's wrong. Yeah. And he's got to correct the error of his ways. Yeah, you mentioned that he's going to do things his way. Prior to this incident, Draymond hopped on social media and said, I'm in year 12, and y'all still telling me to stop being Draymond. I'm better at being Draymond than anybody. Do you think that the Warriors are at fault for enabling Draymond? I think to some degree, yes. Because I think that they have the power and the cachet to influence his behavior to some degree. Draymond Green, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me give you a perfect example. You want me to tell you why one of the biggest reasons I personally believe we haven't heard much from Draymond, since, if anything at all, since the suspension? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it was handed down by Joe Dumas. Yeah. I know how much Draymond loves and respects Joe Dumas. Right. So for Joe Dumas to sit up there and say, your behavior is consistent with these kind of actions and it calls for these kind of ram ramifications, that hits Draymond differently than the media or somebody else just running their mouth talking about him. It affects him differently. Mm -hmm. This is a man that he goes to for advice and counsel and has done so for years. Joe Dumas is universally respected throughout NBA circles. He's a two-time NBA champion. He's a member of the Bad Boys, Pistons with Isaiah Thomas and Lynn Beer and yeah. Mahorn and those brothers and Adrian Danley and those dudes. Joe Dumas is a special dude. And for him, I can tell you this. It hurts him to have to give this penalty right. to Draymond because he's looking at it and he's saying, how many private conversations have we had? How many things have we talked about? We know that you've got tremendous aspirations and you've got incredible potential. Draymond's going to be in this business when his career is over, right. if yeah. he wants to. Mm -hmm. If he wants to. Draymond's got a lot of opportunities coming down the pike. And to know him is to love him, to be honest with you, because I love the hell out of him. But I'm telling you, when Joe Dumas has to come and make that kind of decision against you, it is not good because he has a personal relationship with Draymond, yeah. which means there's some semblance of betrayal that Joe Dumas feels on a personal level because he knows what personal counsel and guidance he's given to Draymond. Right. And he knows that Draymond knows better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Plenty of NBA season left. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch First Take Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. And be sure to check out more exclusive First Take debates on YouTube.